Joseph Evans Jr. here again. Um, really, this is the lecture where we're going to tie it all together and, and finish up tracking this beat. Um, this is this is a very important lecture because, um, you know, li as you listen to this track right now, as it is, it sounds dope, but it, it, it still is lacking. It still needs some more organization and structure. As you can see, we haven't really done a whole lot. We just did some like a bare minimum, uh, you know, skeleton of the track. So now what we're going to do is take this tracking out thing to the next level. So we're going to start at the beginning here. OK, and let me just zoom in. And I want to listen to this is how you this is a good tip here. Is to listen to each section and see really what works and what doesn't. So I'm going to listen to this and we're, or we're going to listen to it and see how we want this song to start off. Now, usually an intro, we're working on the intro right now. Usually the intro is going to be either a song, a part of the song that's completely different or um, just this just, just only have a few different elements in it. So let's just play this and see how it sounds. Now, that's a dope intro part. Now, what I want to do is I want to actually double that up because I feel like that we could go ahead and add a little bit more drama to this track. Um, what I'm going to do to do that, I'm going to select everything. And I'm only going to deselect and push shift. And highlight. Everything else, so. Now this is selected. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and move this like this. Snap it in place like that. And then I'm going to highlight this part again. And I'm going to copy it. Come to our greater than and less than set, uh, keys on our keyboard next to the letter M on your keyboard on your MacBook Pro or your you know, iMac keyboard. OK. And I'm going to push control V or command V, excuse me. Bam. Now. Now I want to make sure that I did the right thing on this. And I did. All right. So cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to move this loop to a 16 okay 16 bar loop and we'll take it to the beginning i'm gonna listen to it and what i'm seeing is as you see here i have things muted but it's still there and as as i continue to build i'm going to um only keep what i want and delete everything else you'll see what i'm saying so let's let's check it out this will be the the intro to the song Maybe that might not be the, the way I want it to come in as far as with this being a verse. I mean, an intro. Maybe that's a better for a verse. So let's just kind of try us a couple different things. All right. And we're going to keep it simple. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to go ahead and delete what I did because I was going to do something else, but I'm going to just going to keep it short, sweet, to the point, simple. Sometimes some pit, like I told you before in a previous lecture, simplicity is, is the best way to do it. All right. So this is how we're going to do it. So check this out. I'm just going to have it come in like this. You 
saw how that came in. So basically, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start cutting it, splitting it at different places. So splitting region at playhead, that's command T. That's where you can split this track. All you gotta do is highlight it, command T. So that's what I'm gonna start doing. Boom. Then I'm gonna get rid of this. Command X gets rid of this. So if you click right here, cutting is Command X. So I'm just kind of walking y'all through this. All right. So boom, that part of the of the of the intro is 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 good to go. I'm not using this, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of here. And so I need to just double check to make sure. Okay, when I um, and I know that I'm not going to have any of this part in there, so I'm going to get rid of this. And I know I'm not going to have any of this in here. I'm going to get rid of that. All right. I'm going to get rid of this. So, the only thing that I might do different is when the bass comes in. So, whether I'm going to put the bass in there to run the jump or whether I'm going to only keep the bass at certain points. Okay, so let's just check this out. All right, so that was pretty dope. Now I could do something, I could do something else here if I wanted to. All right, but let's just keep it like that. I think that's that's good enough to go with it. And um, we're going to come from the intro right into the chorus. All right. So what I'm going to do is this is the chorus right here. That's the chorus part. That's the big, big differentiator. And um, we're going to get rid of this one. Okay. And. Why I'm getting rid of it, because it just it's like a third element, a third bass part that's only there to add something towards the end and or, or a bridge part or some type of element like that. That's the reason why I'm getting rid of it. But this is if you look on here, this is going to be the chorus. OK, so now we can kind of take this is looped up here right here and we can just play with the chorus now. All right. So you say, well, how do you do a loop? I forgot how to do that. All right. You can do it one or two ways. You can click right here. Or you can come over here and create your own loop. Okay. Remember, you have to have the beats and projects selected. If you don't, then it's, your loop's going to be off if you click select it on the time. If you put it on the beats and project, it's going to snap to the grid. If you remember quantization, it's going to make sure that your loop's on point. All right. All right, so now we're looking at the chorus here, and this is the bass. All right, we, and at this point, the drums are all the way in here. I'm not going to put the second drums in here, um, so that's that can be that could be deleted. All right, that can be deleted. So let's check this out now. Um, we can come in with a bigger the bigger bass here. All right. Let's check this out. So that might sound kind of like, you know, and eh, but just listen to it with the rest of the song. This is the part where the rappers like, yeah, yeah, man, you know, do, 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 do. you know, that's that's that part. <laughs> Oh, 
most important. What I'm listening for is like to build up this chorus, okay? And that's what I'm doing. I'm adding more instruments to kind of build it up, beef it up some more, and and that I, I've achieved I have achieved that um in this actual song right now. So this is a pretty pretty much the part that's gonna be constant for every chorus. So for the most part, this is pretty much good to go. Now what I would do now is if I wanted to make this a little easier for myself. Okay, I could take this like this and we can re recopy and paste everything. So I could take this and delete it. Bam. And I can copy this. All right. I'm copying the chorus and I'm copying the verse again. Okay, and let's zoom in to make sure that this part right here is where it needs to be. So I don't have anything off in my beat while my loop. So, okay, it's, it's good to go. And then I'm going to push copy and then push uh, command C and then command V for paste. So we have a chorus here, chorus here, boom, chorus, and we're going to end the song off. Okay. command X okay and again I know this is a pretty good length because I can come over here to the time 4 minutes 34 seconds we're good to go all right rap song typical hip-hop rap song format all right so let's check this out if you know So as you see, it's kind of like I needed to have like a better, a better um, drop or a better divide between the chorus and the verse so that it comes in as a verse. So let's just what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom back in. I'm going to let you see this. All right. And I'm going to start this, this this loop right here. So then we're just we're just focusing on the, the, the part where it comes in and turns into the, the, the chorus. All right. So one cool thing that usually we do here is um, I'm going to go ahead and just delete. And this is pretty common in hip hop is like you do immediately just drop, drop the drums completely. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop the drums completely for at least a couple of bars here. OK. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop some more of the some of these uh, other elements in the song. So, boom, I'm going to drop these uh the piano and the strings i'm dropping that out of here and um i don't need all of this here so let's just see how that sounds now <laughs> See how that that gave a good transition. Anytime you're going from one major section of the song to another, it should be a di very distinctive transition. Okay, saw so how that was a very distinctive. 
You feel what I'm saying? That's very distinctive. So I'm going to try this right here. I might just, I'm just to try this and see how that sounds. It might be even more distinctive. All right. See how that made you have that stink face? Okay, so I know that that works. I know that that's the best way to, to bring it in. It, it's coming in super sick that way, right? It sounds dope. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. I like how that's coming in. I'm going to delete this part. We don't need that. And we don't need this uh, second drums right here. All right, so I know that this at least this part is good to go. So let's check this out. Another thing you do, because see, like me, I'm an artist and a producer, so I kind of already have in my mind kind of like, okay, as the so how the song should be building, because I can picture raps or song or lyrics or whatever over top the beat, and you want to try to imagine that an artist, if you're just a producer, if you don't dibble dabble with both, you want to imagine that a, um, an artist is singing or rapping over this part of the song, and that will help you build your track. this point what you can do this is another trick is you can mute okay some more of these parts so that you can test things out okay mute these parts so you can test things out you'll see what I'm talking about so let's check this out So cool, that works. So what I'm going to do now is everything that is muted, still muted, I'm going to delete it. Okay. Anything that's muted right now is getting deleted. Now, this is your part, first part of the verse. Okay. But then you have a second part of the verse, and this needs to be a completely different feel, vibe, all of that. You feel me? It, it just needs to be different, completely different. And so we have another part here to make it completely different. Um, one thing you can do is we can completely switch up the whole vibe and feel of this song by taking this stuff off right here. All right. And this is just. OK, this is just a technique. More wet, more than one ways to skin a cat here. So let's just try some things out here instead of having these RPA, RPA or this ARP two and ARP whatever. OK, instead of having that stuff here, we're going to take this out. And we're going to activate these parts. OK, so let's check this out. <laughs> 